a new week brought new visitors and an apparent surge in activity on the causeway. Early this morning, I saw a priestly truck come west off the Waban. A little while later, it was no great surprise to see him on the west side of the causeway. The only real surprise was to see his load of wooden cribbing. The explanation came a little later, when having dropped something off on the west, he appeared in the east. Back on the west side, a concrete cutting and coring company had appeared. More, much more about them later, but first a look at the bridge as the week begins. The iron workers have clearly hit their stride and work is progressing rapidly. Assembling the bridge demands a lot of wrench time. In what has become a familiar routine, the iron workers regularly hoist sections of the bridge into place. And bracing is added at almost every stage. Vertical development has become commonplace. We'll catch up with the bridge assembly later, but let's go and look at the concrete work. Ontario Cutting and Coring fielded some impressive machines today. It didn't take long for their purpose to become clear. The first pass employed a small blade but it wasn't long before another, substantially larger blade appeared. With a vertical cut complete by mid-afternoon, attention turned to the horizontal. I suspect that a step is being cut back to match the length of the temporary bridge to a new gap. Before we leave the west side, there's an interesting demonstration of excavator capabilities. An embedded post needed to be removed. Teasing, pulling and nudging it got the job done. Back on the east side, the next in the series of cross beams was placed. Overall, work is proceeding extremely well. I'm away for the next few days but I look forward to coming back at the end of the week to see how things have progressed. I'll catch up then, and thanks for watching.